time, it's beer time with Beer Man. Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world? And just as a little reminder, when I'm done with this, please comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn that red button from red to gray, and don't forget to hit the bell, you'll be notified automatically. You'll be notified automatically when I put up a new video, and on your way out if you can, if you will, if you may, like, and please share that, share this out. Thank you so much, and uh, as you saw, as you saw in the intro, it is Skookum Brewery out of Arlington, Washington. This is their gene pool. And it is an ancestral double IPA. I already opened this kind of on accident. So we'll get into all the details though. I have a little left here. So sorry about that. 8% ABV and no IBUs. It is uh, named the, ancest the ancestral double IPA because it's using Mosaic, Simcoe, and Nugget, which can all be substituted for each other in any case. And they all work well together, if, if anything. And I imagine they all have some kind of ancestral uh, genetic going on. So uh, for the most part, Mosaic itself has blueberry, berry aromas, uh, tropical, earthy, piney, grassy, citrus, you name it. So I'm sure they all share similar uh, qualities. So yeah that's right so let's go ahead and uh let's pour the rest of this into this glass again sorry for opening it <laughs> but as you can see it's a lovely lovely head about two fingers on top of what i already had there nice let's go for the smell I get an orange, I get orange, I get a slight berry, maybe more on the strawberry side. I get that rye, kind of a rye spice. I get the kind of a grainy wheat going on, grainy, kind of a, um, more of a bready grainy. It's very sweet smelling. Yeah, I get the tropical sweet malts, like a very sweet candy-like malt. Very nice, let's look at it. We got about, as we said, two finger head, uh, off white head, kind of a slight orange hue in there. It is an orange color, it's a it's a very um, frothy head. It's love, I mean, very nice looking, well, well put together. And uh, as far as like the look of it, it, like I said, orange juice. It looks juicy, juice bomb, it's pulpy looking. And it's got a medium fast rising bubble. It's opaque, you can't hardly see a shadow through this. Let's go ahead and drive dive into this. Drive in. Alright. You get a real good punch of orange. It's real sweet. This is another one of those orange Julius like ones. It does have the strawberry berry like um, aromas coming through. So I'm really enjoying this. It's a nice orange. It's got uh, kind of a tropical flavor. That orange really comes out. The pineapple's in there, a little pineapple. And um, it's just such a such a nice beer. I really like the sweetness of it. It has a dry punch with the rye in the back. Um, it's It's got kind of a, um, a dank quality to the hops. It's very resinous and it's hiding the alcohol very well. Um, I'm actually very happy with this. Very good beer. Eight percent. I mean, I would have thought I would have thought it'd been a little more boozy, but it's really nice. It's got a smooth, creamy mouthfeel, sweet mouthfeel, sweet, not too sticky on the lips, just nice. Dries off with a medium fast finish, a medium long finish. Excuse me. Um, that orange is real dominant. A little mango, some stone fruit mango, tropical going on as well. Lacy on the glasses, starting to form. It's got this nice little like uh, dry kick in the back. I really like that, how it just kind of drops off. It's nice. Out of five hops, shoot, man, I've, I'm giving this five hops. This is two thumbs up. I would totally buy this again. I'd get a four pack of this, no problem. Uh, very delicious. Uh, definitely serve this at, you know, 45 degrees out of your fridge, whatever, 40, 45, somewhere around there would probably be the best to drink it at. Um, but real nice beer. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one. Cheers.